The Hogs are back at home. Tonight begins a 10-game homestand at Baumwalker Stadium on another windy evening in Northwest Arkansas. We've got a historic matchup, the first meeting between the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, the Golden Lions, and the 10th-ranked Arkansas Nolan. Here's a guy who threw just 15 pitches on Saturday. Yeah, no one just, you know, really just couldn't get it going on Saturday. But Golden Lions, six wins on the year. There's a smash right to Jordan McFarland to begin this contest. This year with Little Rock and now UAPB. And a wave and a miss, and Nolan gets the K to complete a perfect top of the first. And the Razor All three of his hits, though, came in that finale. When Arkansas had to score five in the ninth, this one will go all the way into the corner. Ezel will have two, and he's thinking about three. Trying for a triple, the throw is way offline. And it's backed up by the left fielder, Simon, and a triple for Ezel to begin the first. For, uh, for Arkansas. Martin sends one to center. It'll drop in front of Resch. And Trevor Ezel home to score the game's first run. A lot of lefties in that lineup. And Goodhart takes one that just does miss. Fletcher drops down a bunt, rolling out towards the mound. Sanchez's throw is high. Backed up nicely by Parker, but scoring is Casey Martin. Kerstad hits a liner over the head of the shortstop, Mallison. It'll chase home a run. Fletcher will be held at third on a run scoring double from Kerstad, his 30th RBI of the season. Walk in an air this inning. A chopper to Parker. This will score a run, but Kenley retired. Fletcher comes across, and it's a 4 0 game. Benoit trying to hide that ball against a right hander. Stroke to left, right at Simon. He'll take it on a bounce. And Kerstad will trot home with the fifth run of the inning. Yeah, you hope that they can get their whole roster back and kind of click it. Larry Sims smokes one into center for a base hit against Connor Nolan. Now speaking of clicking, that was. And Nolan with his second strikeout as he paints one at the knees on that inside corner. Pitched three innings the other day. Off the glove of Kenley over towards Martin. And everybody's safe. That ball was hard hit, but Kenley. Runners go. Throw to third is easily going to be in time to gun down Sims. Made the final out of third base. That victory and really kind of right the ship in that series. A smash that eats up Madison. And he's held on again. Legs. Goodhart does now hit in 10 straight games. He just keeps on hitting. Fletcher started his swing, held back. The throw goes to third. Close, but safe is Ezel. Third. Count three and out to Fletcher. Swinging away and lifting one to shallow left. The wind starting to beat this ball down, and it drops in front of a diving left fielder, Simon. Scoring is Ezel on a long, loopy single from Dominic Fletcher. Try to maximize those at-bats for those top couple of hitters. That's just a cue shot to third. Robinson will throw to second. That'll force Fletcher, but Heston will get another RBI as Goodhart will add the extra point, make it 7 0. Kenley elevates one to left center field. Simon was playing shallow, and now he has to turn and run. Kerstad, it's going to be waved in. Kenley going for three. He's got a triple. And the ball nearly went into the dugout, chased by Benoit. Over on the warning track in front of the Razorback dugout. New pitcher as well for the Razorbacks. Elisha Trest comes on in the third after Connor Nolan won a couple of innings. Against Vanderbilt, three innings, one hit, no runs, one strikeout. Martin will have to charge and scoop. They can't throw. And Mallison will get an infield base hit. That's the third. They'll be in a regional someplace and possibly here. There's a ground ball to Kenley. Throws out Simon as Mallison advances. 90 feet field as well as on the mound and it's a nice piece of hitting right there by Esparza just kind of guided that thing through the right side but he gets a base hit at RBI as Madison scores and the Golden Lions are on the board letting it run from there wave and a miss off and running and the throw to second base will get Esparza Martin applies the tag 
And that's a free base for Washington Jr. Drop low, and that's ball four. A couple of base runners to begin the third inning. You ask and you shall receive. Another base hit by Goodhart. Washington Jr. will score easily. The ninth Razorback run. Dominic's been on four home runs for a couple of weeks. Does he have number five? High in the air, deep right. Goodbye. <laughs> Woo Pig Suey as Fletcher connects on a three run shot to the bullpen in right field. Into the wind, he still had enough. Yeah, he, you're right. He had to hit that through about a 15, 20 mile an hour wind blowing straight in from right field. And you knew he hit it pretty well, and it did not get out by much. Sims made a good effort right there, but off the bat, that ball's clubbed, and I bet it only gets out by about maybe 10 feet. He knew he hit it, and he knew the wind, what the wind was doing, blowing hard. And watch the effort by Sims right here. He's going to climb that fence and said, hey, you know what? This thing might come back. <laughs> he catches maybe foul territory. The teams are coming off the field, and now we're back. And McFarland will take advantage with a base set to left field. Smart holding. They're still somewhat reluctant. Absolutely. And that one almost undressed. Trust in the center for a base hit. But to wrap it up, after the little session was over, a flare out in the right center. It'll drop. Sanchez will hold as Heston Kerstad lobs it back in. Back-to-back -back singles. There's a chopper. Glove by Martin, and the ball pops loose. Everybody's safe. That's three straight hits by UAPB to load the bases. Rest. Trying to work around this bases loaded mess here in this fourth inning. And he'll get the strikeout against Parker for the second out of the inning. All right. Yeah, we got a treat for you coming up real soon. In fact, we might go ahead and put him on right here. Some of the assistance he's had with UAP. That ball will go to the screen. A flip to the plate, and Trust will apply the tag to end the inning. So we set up our guest, and we'll step aside and bring him back. Colin Taylor comes on the pitch here in the fifth inning. 12 to 2 our score. What a thrill to have pounded out 17 runs in that game. There were a lot of guys that were going to be on their porch. And a four-pitch walk to Robinson. Matt Hobbs likes to work it is. Go to go to Kasi Shock and then close to Cronin. Play for McFarland to end the inning, and the Golden Lions strand a couple of runners on base. Canley smokes one to right. This ball's climbing to the bullpen, and it is gone. Way off the bat, that ball was just absolutely torched by Kenley. Didn't quite have the launch angle we talked about with Hudson Kerstad earlier on, but that was just an absolute missile to right field. It just sounded solid. And you knew it, you knew it was hit hard. You didn't know if it was going to have enough height to kind of cut through that wind, but just got over that fence. Not close. Trying to win the frame. Here's Trevor Ezell. Another base hit for Trevor. Just pokes one into right. Graduate transfer for his final season of eligibility. Martin socks one to right. Sims turning and running. Goodbye. An opposite field bomb from KC Martin. That's a good sign for Arkansas fans, seeing Martin go the other way. Before the game, I, I was talking to Dave Van Horn around the batting cage, and I looked at him, I said, you know, if Casey Burns had hit the ball to right field, I could definitely see him hitting 400. But if you got pop like that to right field, you definitely have a shot. There's no doubt. I mean, that wind we thought might knock some balls down going to right field. That's the third Arkansas is hitting that bullpen. Carter Sells. New Arkansas pitcher comes on to work in the sixth inning, replacing Taylor. Dribbler to third. And Kenley's throw easily in time to retire Sims for the first time tonight. Into left for a base hit. Hey, second hit of the night. Up and out, and that's a walk. This is the fun we have at softball. They have dinosaurs and various other animals and creatures in their dugout. But, uh, we get Marshall Denton enters with the bases loaded in the sixth inning after shutting things down and picking up a save in that 14-12 game. From the Houston area, drills one to right. Fielded by Harris. 
He will float one into McFarland. And another run has come across. And it doesn't work. There's a swing and a miss for the second out. He'll get an RBI, but on a free pass. And the second run of the inning trots home as Parker will score. Ball game. I think there are no hit in that ball game. Roller towards short. Martin will flip to second for the force to end the inning. Golden Lions. Liam Hendry comes on to pitch the seventh, and this could be the last inning in our game. Teen-year major league career. He tweeted out a picture of us uh, with. 3-2 pitch misses. Back-to-back -back walks from Henry. Runs in both the third and fifth innings. And this ball may drop it at will in front of Franklin. And the bases are loaded. Henry will get strike three call. On the count to Mackey. Dribbler towards second. Ezel will flip to McFarlane. And the Golden Lions left three men on base in the seventh inning, and that'll do it. A run rule final, 16 to 4. The Razorbacks with a victory. Well, a great game for both ball clubs and just the exposure for the Golden Lions. And you wish them well. It was great having Torrey Hunter up in the box, but big game for Arkansas.